Well, greetings, friends, and welcome back. Suffice it to say that the first video I was going to make for you in this studio space was not meant to be this one. You see, last year we moved house to this house, which, sorry about the echo, but this was to be a dedicated studio space complete with different colored backgrounds. But as it often turns out with these things, Mother Nature had some different plans. So yes, so instead of this being a beautiful complete studio, it's now back to being a construction site. And I say back to because we had just spent tens of thousands of dollars upgrading this whole downstairs area, renovating everything, putting new plaster on, obviously the new paint and various things like that to make it all ready and awesome for filming. And as you can see, it's a huge big space, right? So the amount of stuff that we can do in here is tremendous. But, you know, and through here was a storage area, but I didn't expect to be able to see you through it. And in addition to that area, we also have this whole space out here, which was going to be like an auxiliary space. It's a bit of a um, sort of lounge, kitchen, dining kind of space, as you can see. So this, again, would have been another cool space to do lots of stuff in. I was going to have a VR set up down here, a bench to do camera review stuff. Um, anyway. So, sometimes things are delayed. This is clearly one of those times. So here we are in a construction site once again. What's interesting, of course, is if you've ever experienced this yourself, well, firstly, the mud on the floor is still what washed off the mountain three weeks ago and hasn't been cleaned up because the process apparently involves chopping out the bottom 600 mil of the walls. So essentially every part that was affected, you can see around here as well, and then once that's done, essentially working out where mold has got to, I think they only found it to about sort of there, the water level came up to about here, but they've obviously cut off more than they need to to be conservative. And then they'll have to rebuild it all. And in addition to all of that, we also lost our kitchen. So that's fun as well. Now don't get me wrong, this is a downstairs area. So we actually have actually a house to get on with upstairs, which is lucky. So we don't need to move out, we don't need to find temporary accommodation or anything like that. So it's kind of happy days. And even though we've lost a bunch of contents, uh, most of my camera stuff, apart from the drone, uh, was upstairs. So the drone got got, but everything else has kind of survived the ordeal, which is good. Not that I wasn't already an empathic person, but going through this situation myself, or ourselves, has certainly brought to light how devastating water can be and how much damage it can actually do to you know, an entire space. So basically the road ahead for us looks like about 10 weeks worth of chopping stuff out, assessing for mold, doing hygienist swabs, and then rebuilding the walls and the kitchen and also a bathroom that we lost. As I say, I had a whole list of videos that I was going to get on with, camera reviews, more VR stuff and game stuff, um, some camera kit because my camera rig is now finally set up to the way I like it and I wanted to go through all the bits that I put together. Uh, not that a camera rig is ever truly finished, I think, but you know, <laughs> it's like whenever you get a little bit of money in your bank account, there's always a little shiny screaming at you going, buy me, buy me. So the resistance of that uh, I, think I've, I think I've finally got to a point where I'm happy enough with the rig that I can stop buying crap to add onto it. But I wanted to show you all of those bits because there aren't really any reviews of the bits that I bought online. So I wanted to inform some of you guys in case you're interested in that. And I was gonna do some tabletop gaming stuff. Anyway, there and more van stuff. There was lots more stuff coming, which obviously has all been put on hold for the time being. So hopefully you can be patient with me. I might make another um, video to just show you progress as it goes. Uh, but that's it for me for now, and I'll see you guys next time. In the meantime, uh, please feel free to subscribe and then watch some other videos uh, of my back catalogue while I get myself sorted before I can film some more for you. And otherwise, take care of yourself, and I'll see you guys next time.